What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Eddie's World. Today, we have another mega unboxing. First off, we have this box that we got from Moose Toys themselves, and we are really excited to see what's inside. We also have five Series 2 Versus packs, and we have been waiting a long time to get our hands on these, and we finally have them. And last but not least, we have the Series 2 collector case with the exclusive figure and code. We have so many things to open, guys. Let's jump right in. Let's start things off by opening six of these Series 1 four packs. It's the Glitch Blade version. And if you don't get Storm Strike, you're going to get a White Wraith. But that is okay because we are going to customize each and every one of these. That's why I bought them is because I'm running out of doubles to customize. And Glitch Blade, Chuck Slee, and Hyperlock are all excellent starting figures if you want to customize someone. And having another shot at Storm Strike doesn't hurt either. And for the price, you're getting each figure at about $3. So to us, it's a no brainer. And look at all these figures we need to customize and give away. Okay, let's open this box that we got from Moose Toys. And I think this is the box I was supposed to get so that I could be going through these toys while watching the Zoom Toy Fair. And it came with two Battle Giants, Tonk and Alpha Wolf. It also came with two Series 1 blind boxes that will crack open right now. And we got Toxinator and Buzzcut, two awesome figures to customize. And last, it had two of the brand new Heroes of Gujitsu Galaxy Blast. A couple of you guys asked me if you could see the rest of the footage from my Zoom Toy Fair with Moose Toys, so here it is. Gujitsu is on fire and we are just getting started. We're introducing newness like never before. And for the first time, we have a Gujitsu vehicle, our top toy Thrashmobile. Our Thrashmobile brings a new world of play for our Heroes of Gujitsu. With a single push or pull, you can stretch and smash your vehicle from a cool cruiser to a monster-sized attack mobile. Thrash and his Thrashmobile are ready for action. Check it out. And now let's open our Akato Series 2 Versus Packs. And here is our first pack, let's tear it open. It comes with Epic Shreddy. And this guy is almost a duplicate of Shreddy Bear. The only difference being a couple graphic changes and his weapon being a lot beefier. And this next warrior in the pack, you might be wondering why she's holding a cat weapon. Why does she have cat slippers on? Why does she have a cat belt? And why does she have a cat draped around her neck? It's because she's Madam Furball, okay? The only thing I want to know is why does being a cat lover give her such terrible teeth? Okay, moving on. This next pack has Steel Fang. He's a really cool figure, except when I was looking at the picture of him on the collector's guide, I noticed that the picture shows his chest armor to be a lot shinier than it is in real life, but that's okay. The second warrior in the pack is Gokong, and no complaints about Gokong's armor. It is shiny gold, and his weapon is 
extra long. So I definitely think he's gonna hold his own on the battlefield. And in this next pack, we have Synthfire. Very nice warrior, very colorful. He has the same head as Burnout, but he is completely different from anyone we've ever seen. And his weapon is massive. I really like this guy. Also in that versus pack is Puncture. He comes with a guitar weapon, green pants, and a pink mohawk. And you can already tell this guy is hardcore, man. In the next pack, we have Slash Shot. He comes with a hockey stick. And this guy's head is actually Battle Max's head. And it took me a while to figure that out because it looks completely different, but he is pretty cool. And also in this versus pack, we have Epic Chucks. And the first thing I noticed about Epic Chucks when I was swinging his weapon around was that this thing weighed a ton. It is massive. And you can see right here, I'm measuring the length of them and it's about the same as Chucks Lee's, giving him phenomenal reach. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what Epic Chucks can do. And next we have Cro-Mag, who is obviously a caveman. It looks like he's wearing something out of the Flintstones. He also has a bone weapon. And I do not understand why he's purple. I'm gonna have to Google if cavemen were thought to be purple, but we'll get back to you guys with that one. And also in this pack is Epic Tail Whip. He's a glow in the dark. His weapon is totally awesome. It reminds me of a Treasure X weapon. And let's test him out right now. And you can see he looks awesome in the dark. You could totally turn this guy into Skeletor. No problems there. And that wraps up our Series 2 versus pack. And now let's move on to the Series 2 collector case. I love how this thing is designed to look like a little arcade game. Even comes with a tear strip on the plastic. Thank you for that. And your controller just sits right up here in the front. And the controller that it comes with is really one of a kind too. Normally those thumbstick controllers are blue. This one is a black and it has a gold Akato logo on the back. There's also a space in the front to put a figure. And there you go, I'm testing it out there. He sits in there pretty snugly, doesn't fall out with any shaking, but I would not transport it like that. So let's open this thing up. And there you see the exclusive figure that you can only get with this case. His name is Encode and he is really cool. And even this guy's base is glow in the dark plastic. So let's check him out and see what it looks like. And you can see how bright this thing glows because he is just a big chunk of glow-in-the-dark plastic and it looks really cool. Another cool little feature on the collector case is that the screen is actually a double-sided replacement card for the background of your ultimate arena. And let's fill this thing up with our Series 2 and I absolutely love it. There's a slot for every single warrior from series two. We are missing two warriors from series two. So I had an empty spot inside of the case and there's also that spot on the outside of the case. But guys, check this out. I almost missed this little feature. There is a drawer on the front of the case and you can hold up to five additional controllers and four additional warriors or you can probably jam pack about 10 extra warriors in there. They literally thought of everything on this case. There is no wasted space. This thing is awesome. I highly recommend buying one or two or three. I bought four of them. I'm going to try to get all of our series one in these as well because that's how I want to transport my Akato Warriors. And that has been our video, guys. That was an awesome unboxing. Thank you so much for watching to the end. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button and comment down below. Tell us what characters you guys want to see us customize. And please click one of these links on the screen and we will see you in the next video.